friends, today is the 22nd of the Work Talks Daily Podcast. We have a special guest today. I'm joined by uh, Boyne Raziza, who has got seven annials and would like to know her experience to the to the top, to the seven uh, annials. So, uh, tell me about yourself, Raziza. Tell me about, about, about more about yourself. How did you get into English? Uh, where did you study and everything? Hi, as you said, my name is Aziza, I'm 18 and um, I study at school that is number 4 and I've been learning English for a year and a half. If I talk about how I got into English, I can say that I didn't know anything about IELTS. I just wanted to learn English for fun. I mean, I really wanted to have a conversation with a foreign people, so that's why I started to learning English. Okay, okay. Uh, when we start learning exactly, it's like it, you told me that one and a half year, uh, years back, okay, when, when, how you start uh, learning English, for example, from the, from the course book or you read the blur books, maybe you listen to music, how you develop uh, this, this habit? Well, I took English course. No, you're my teacher. So, well, if I talk about how I learn um, English, well, um, I guess I learned um, how to talk, how to speak, how to pronounce words exactly uh, like natives through English movies and podcasts because they were really useful and I can say that they helped me a lot. That helped me a lot. Uh, how about uh, reading books? Well, to be honest, I'm not a bookworm person, so that's why I don't read books a lot. So I just learn through um, English podcasts, mm -hmm. movies, and something like that. Okay, so tell us about your favorite English podcast or the movies. My all time English. My all-time favorite English podcast is All Ears English because okay. uh, it's kind of helpful and also hilarious. So that's why I really love this podcast. And also, I really like Six Minute English because you know that it's short and I don't um, lose my concentrate. So. Yeah. Okay. How about the movies? I really like uh, watching movies. Um, like me before you and I mean I love heartwarming touching movies so that's why I watch tons of movies and I learn so many things like from them mm -hmm. especially say um, pronounce, pronouncing words exactly like natives and mm -hmm. also learning new phrases and uh, use them naturally Use them naturally. Or what is your favorite, um, for example, maybe you like your Instagram from podcasts, for example, what is your favorite, uh, I mean, situation comedy? Maybe do you have a favorite movie you can recommend to the students that are learning English or you have a favorite uh, situation comedy, sitcom? I highly recommend um, students to watch Friends. Now it's really famous and I can say that I learn uh, so many things from this show and because uh, they are kind of my friends too because um, they helped me a lot to learn English and because the char like, characters of the sitcom yeah. like Rachel, Monica and Chandler and everybody okay because yeah. when I started to learn English I was uh, I was painfully shy and uh, I couldn't speak in front of public mm -hmm. I mean, even I couldn't speak with I couldn't uh, have a conversation with you too so this um, comedy helped me a lot to improve my English skills especially speaking skills so that's why if I were a um, movie critic I would give glowing reviews about this show so that's why I can I highly recommend students to watch this. To watch Friends, okay. Who is your favorite character in the, in the situation of comedy? I'm Monica and Rachel. Uh -huh. Why and Monica and why and Rachel? Because, um, 
I don't know why, but when I started to watch this uh, comedy, they um, they attract me. Attracted to you, but well, if I ask you tell um, tell us about Monica, what kind of things come come to your come to your mind? What do you think of Monica? If I think about Monica, uh, the first thing came to my mind is being well organized. Okay. So, um, you know that she um, wants everything, she wants to be everything clean. Okay. I mean, and she's a very um, well organized person. Mm -hmm. So, that's why the first thing that's into my mind is. Okay, well organized and very neat, very clean. Okay, how about Rachel? What, what do you think of Rachel? Rachel is. Um, well, she cries a lot. Okay. <laughs> Because I'm kind of sensitive, okay. so I can I just cry a lot, and so I'm sensitive. So that's why I like her. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm kind of like him, her. Yeah. You like her, okay. Uh, how about uh, the the male, the male character in the friends friend situation comedy? I love Chandler most. Chandler, why Chandler the most? Why? I love his uh, sarcasm. Sarcasm, okay. I love the way he cracks a joke. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's very funny. It's very funny. Mm -hmm. But you know that many girls uh, like uh, Jerry. Okay. Because it's his, his handsome. Yeah. Okay. Handsome. But I don't know why I just like Chandler. You did just uh, like Chandler. Okay. But uh, how often do you uh, did you watch Friends when you're back? You were learning. Um, when you're learning English? I don't know exactly, but I... How many episodes yes. did you watch in, in, in one day? I... Um, I watch um, Friends and this show um, three or four times. Okay. The whole episode. Okay. Because I really love and uh, when I first watch it, I just... Um, I didn't pay attention to I didn't pay attention to learn uh, new phrases. I just really wanted to watch this. But when I started to watch again, I started to pay attention to words. I mean, vocabularies they use. So for this reason, I watched this show a lot, like uh, three or four times. You watched one episode three or four times. Yeah. Okay, and then you take notes about the vocabularies and put this vocabulary into into practice into, in, in your speech. You, you try to use in this in, the, in your speech. Wow, it's great. And then, uh, but how you develop your listen through podcasts? I, I understand, but uh, regularly do you listen to podcasts every day? I mean, all year is English. Okay, all year is English. This year is your favorite podcast, I know. But how about uh, six minutes English? Six minutes. Do you? Did you listen to all the part, uh, episodes of Six Minutes English? Yeah, I did, because um, it was really useful. When I started to listen to this um, podcast, I learned so many things. I learned so many things. So that's why I listened to all, um, all podcasts. Oh, all episodes of the podcast. Okay, how about reading? Reading. Ah, yeah. How you uh, develop your reading habits, you know? Reading was the most challenging for mm -hmm. me. Why? Because you don't like reading? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As I said, I'm not a bookworm person mm -hmm. and uh, I just lose my control. Concentration. My concentration mm -hmm. easily when it comes to reading a book. Mm -hmm. Cause, and also when I uh, read a book or in English when I um, start to practice reading this it's always it's always challenging for me because I don't know um, anything about um, grammar structures mm -hmm. I mean I have no idea what I'm doing mm -hmm. I don't know anything about um, ah, wow, 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 wow. it's a great question you you cracked seven in IELTS without learning grammar yeah. how it's possible well um, I don't know anything about grammar because mm -hmm. you know you don't 
you don't teach a lot about grammar mm -hmm. and the grammar structure, so that's why it's always difficult because when I read a book, it was always difficult to translate them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's why, but I can say that it's not that bad not learning grammar because mm -hmm. I just. Um, well, I got a seven and speaking without learning grammar. Mm, oh, okay, this is good. But do you recommend to learn grammar as well to the students? But for example, people they they they, they told they come to the edu education center. They tell us that I need one year or one and a half year to learn grammar perfectly, and then I will start learning. Um, for example, I start preparing for IELTS. Do you do you think it's the right thing to do? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Because um, I guess when uh, students start to learn grammar and for you know about for a year and a half, mm -hmm. they start to, they will start to translate words mm -hmm. into English. They don't think in English, so I guess then they will face so many challenges. And uh, so if I if I take an example of my own life, uh -huh. well, I just uh, learned grammar about a week, I guess. It's not exactly about a week too, but I can say that I just learned some uh, basic things, like, uh -huh. you know, um, like some um, present feature and past simple, something like that. and. Uh, but I guess every student should learn grammar a bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you know that they have to write an essay in English and then they uh, take an IELTS exam. Okay. That's why. And then they have a, they have some knowledge about grammar. They wouldn't, um, they wouldn't face some challenges like me when it comes to reading a book. When it comes to reading a book, okay. The habit to writing. Do you, uh, do you keep a uh, diary every day? Do, do you write something for the something what happens in your life? I don't write too much, mm -hmm. but um, still you keep a diary. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I used to keep a diary, mm -hmm. and you know about I uh, now I just um, look at my diaries that I wrote about a year ago and mm -hmm. it's kind of funny because mm -hmm. I just uh, write, I just wrote um, two basic things like mm -hmm. I go to school today, mm -hmm. I, I did something, I did mm -hmm. something and it's kind of funny and I did tons of grammar, grammar mistakes mm -hmm. and I didn't use much advanced vocabularies mm -hmm. and... Uh, I understand, you didn't use advanced vocabulary, okay, now you have a... Uh, uh, I can say the good knowledge of vocabularies the vo in the vocabulary section, but how you d you are not learning grammar and how you are uh, seeing your mistakes in the sentence. Well, you just know that. Uh, autom automatically. <laughs> how? 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 You, you didn't learn in the grammar and how you can see your mistakes in the uh, sentence structure. I don't know. But I just. It's automatically, you know, when you read, you can see the structure. For example, when you read the book, you can see the structure and then strictly, the structure which comes to your head automatically. When you see another, they're making a mistake in their speech and their speech even in their, when they're writing, you can see the, the flaws in their writing and speaking. It's good. It, it, it is really good. Mm -hmm. How about speaking? Okay, you, you cracked seven in speaking as well too and how you reach from zero to seven and speaking exactly so you told me that friends it helped a lot on the way to reach seven but still well you know that there's a still room for improvement in my speaking because mm -hmm. i just um make some basic grammar mistakes mm -hmm. like um i can say just I still make mistakes, mm -hmm. but I guess um, why I got seven in speaking, mm -hmm. I use uh, advanced vocabularies a lot mm -hmm. in speaking exam because when it comes to part one, I just 
and use about three or four advanced vocabularies uh, for long questions. Okay. Because I guess um, the reason why I got seven is I use advanced vocabularies mm -hmm. and also use them naturally. Mm -hmm. Because you know it was always difficult for me to use them to use new vocabularies naturally. I just uh, memorize them and put them into practice. So I guess when I start to use them a lot, I guess I would use them naturally and. And also practicing a lot and having a conversation with friends in English um, will be really useful for my students because mm -hmm. when I always talk with my friends in English like Shosta and Shahrizada, we always uh, practice a lot um, from 9 to 3 or 4 a.m. In the morning. Yeah. Wow, wow. We practice a lot. And, uh, okay, you're in, it means you're enjoying the fruits of the hard work right now. Okay, uh -huh. so uh, for, for the last word, what kind of things um, you can, for example, what kind of suggestion, advice you can give to the students who are learning, not just to, not, who not, not just to preparing for IELTS, who are just learning English, what kind of things you can do, just, this is your last word, last sentence I can say. I have no idea how to say, but I guess um, the uh, students who are learning English should um, set a goal mm -hmm. and make their dreams come true. That's it. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, Bernera. Thank you, and good luck for the studies. And uh, you didn't tell us your uh, so you have now seven in IELTS, no? So you, you didn't tell us about your future plans. Well, I'm gonna study abroad, but mm -hmm. I don't know exactly which country I'm gonna study in. Mm -hmm. But I guess I well, I apply. I will apply for some universities mm -hmm. and try to get a scholarship. Okay. And then I will put out. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. So good luck for the studies. Bye for now. Bye.